The newly announced team for the Thunderbolts movie is filled with MCU characters who land somewhere between good and bad. While some of these characters have become beloved heroes in the MCU, they all have dark pasts that show their abilities to be quite villainous as well. Some of these acts are worse than others, and some of them were not really the fault of the characters. But looking out how this team of anti-heroes might shape up, it is interesting to see which of the members of the Thunderbolts is responsible for the most villainous act. 7 Antonia Drakov Taskmaster trying to kill Natasha Though some saw Taskmaster as a disappointing villain in the MCU, there was an interesting twist that this deadly assassin was just a brainwashed girl who needed to be rescued. Antonia was robbed of a normal life by her evil father, who turned her into this killing machine that would take out any target she was aimed at. So while Taskmaster delivers several brutal beatings to the heroes in the movie and nearly kills them on several occasions, she can hardly be held responsible for it. In fact, as soon as Antonia is freed from her brainwashing, it becomes clear that she was just an innocent girl trapped in this nightmare. 6. Bucky Barnes the Winter Soldier killing Tony's parents By the time Bucky is reintroduced as the brainwashed killer Winter Soldier, fans had already got to know him as a good friend and brave soldier. So even when Winter Soldier is killing innocent people and being very intimidating, fans knew that it wasn't really Bucky doing all those terrible things. However, in one of Phase 3's best twists, it is revealed that Winter Soldier was responsible for the deaths of Howard and Maria Stark. Seeing him brutally murder Tony's parents was hard to watch, even knowing that he was not in control of his actions. It is even more tragic knowing that Bucky continued to live with the guilt of that. 5. Yelena Belova trying to kill Clint Yelena quickly established herself as a new fan favorite in the MCU and an exciting addition to the Thunderbolts. But she is not completely innocent as seen with her role in Hawkeye. Her relationship with Kate Bishop makes for a charming MCU duo, but her eagerness to kill Clint Barton is alarming. Unlike when she was also a brainwashed killer, Yelena fully knew what she is doing on this mission. She is out for revenge after being told Clint was responsible for Natasha's death. But if she took just a moment to think about the logic in that, she probably would have come to realize that it was not true. For Valentino Allegra de Fontaine sending Yelena to kill Clint, while Yelena deserves a lot of the blame for going after Clint, the one who sent her on that mission is likely even more devious. Val is still a character shrouded in mystery with the feeling that she is ultimately up to no good with this new team she is assembling. However, convincing Yelena to go kill Clint Barton was the biggest piece of evidence that she is a true villain at heart. Val does not seem like someone who gets a lot of bad information, so it is safe to assume she knew Clint was not responsible for Natasha's death, but was manipulating Yelena to take out one of the Avengers. 3. Ava Star Ghost trying to kill Janet, though she was the main antagonist in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Ghost is one of the most relatable villains in the MCU. Suffering from her phasing powers, Ava Star is in desperate need to cure them with power from the quantum realm, or else she will die. It is a fairly understandable motivation to act outside the law. However, Ava's mission to save herself sometimes puts others in danger. When told that drawing power from the quantum realm could kill Janet Pym who is trapped in there, Ava doesn't seem to care and is only focused on her own pain, stating that if she dies, she dies. 2. Alexei Shostakov Red Guardian abandoning Yelena and Natasha Alexei is a goofy and entertaining MCU character fans wanted to see return, so many are thrilled he will be part of the Thunderbolts. Yet as funny as Alexei is, there are moments where he has been quite hard to like. The opening sequence of Black Widow shows Natasha's life as a young spy in America with her pseudo-family. Alexei was her father figure who claims to have cared about the girls, but betrayed them in a pretty shocking way.
After being sent home, Alexei leaves his frightened daughters to be turned into brainwashed killers. One John Walker U.S. agent killing an unarmed suspect when introduced as the new Captain America, fans immediately knew that John Walker would not live up to the legacy of Steve Rogers. As it turns out, not only was he not the hero Steve was, he was one of the worst possible people to wield that shield. Walker is an arrogant and aggressive soldier who believes force is always the answer. His anger and violence only gets worse when he takes the super solder serum. After his friend is killed by Carly Morganthau, Walker hunts down one of her fellow flag smashers and brutally murders him with the shield. Though the show tried to redeem him by the end, there is likely no way Walker will come back from such an act.